Spencer, now that you're kind of nearing the end of your first spring here, just what do you feel like you've learned and where do you feel like the comfortability is with this offense right now? You know, I, I think I'm I think I'm getting there. Uh, I, I definitely learned a majority of the offense, you know, obviously still settling into a few things, you know, with it being a brand new system. But uh, for me, I'm, I'm really comfortable right now. You know, we're just working our control passing game, you know, working on those run checks, you know, seeing what we're best at. And, um, you know, we're making some strides every single day. So uh, we got a lot of playmakers. I just got to get the ball in their hands and they'll, they'll make the plays. Spencer, we were kind of joking about it with Trey, but how's it been having Wyatt Campbell running some tight end? How's, how, how are his hands? Uh, we haven't got him a pass yet, but he's been open. But, like, we've tried to keep the ball away from him. But, you know, I told him we'll, we'll get him we'll get him one time, probably, hopefully in the spring game. And, and I know for you, you were talking about earlier this spring, just getting adjusted to being under center a little more and mm -hmm. kind of the pace of it. Just what's that been like? Where do you feel like that's at now a couple of weeks later? And, and I guess what's maybe what are some of the things that you've learned in that process as well? Yeah, I'm definitely more comfortable with being under center, um, uh, especially just with the passing game, just getting your feet down, getting the footwork down. That's that's the big thing for me, just being on time with my feet. You know, that's what I'll be working, um, you know, Thursday and obviously in the spring game. And then when I go home with, with my coaches out there. So that's my focus. Spencer, now that you've had roughly a month, maybe a little, little bit more um, around this wide receiving core, curious to just kind of what's maybe what's changed about your thoughts on, on their ability, uh, the way they go about um, how they work every day from maybe the first day you're on campus to, to what you maybe see and notice now. Yeah, from the first day, um, you know, I got here, I could tell they were some playmakers, uh, big physical, fast guys. Um, you know, all of them have been playing well. I think we just got to still get our chemistry down, uh, obviously. Um, but, you know, that'll come. We got we got some time to work on that, you know, throughout the summer. And um, we'll get that down. But guys are making plays. I mean, yesterday, uh, Juice, uh, Antoine Wells, He, I mean, I probably had like four or five touchdowns to him in, in team period. So um, he's, he's a big-time playmaker, strong hands, runs his routes aggressive, and is super confident. So having a guy like that out there who's going to go get the ball, and, uh, you know, Xavier Leggett, all, all these types of guys, Josh Van, um, everybody's looking good right now. And then obviously, you know, some of our other guys haven't been, you know, practicing as much. But, um, we, you know, we're playing with who we got, and uh, it's been fun being out there with those guys every day. Speaking of Antoine Wells, I mean, outside of the, you know, learning X's and O's and, and learning a new playbook, you know, what are some of the challenges that you think you faced and Antoine, maybe some of these new guys that you've talked to that are coming in as transfers and how do you feel right now in comparison to maybe when you stepped on campus that first day? Yeah, I just feel like we're way more educated, obviously, on the offense now. Um, we're, we, we, we can go more in depth with in, installs and stuff like that. Um, coaches, I feel like, trust us more with what we see and, um, um, you know, it's an everyday process, but we're definitely more comfortable now. It's been obviously the spring game Saturday. Just what would you like to see from this offense that day to really kind of end spring on a high note? What are some of the kind of the goals for the offense going into this game? I think a perfect day for us would be to go out there and just execute on every level in the run game, control passing game, and obviously in the explosive play battle. Uh, we want to hit some explosive plays down the field and, and get big time plays. Um, you know, really, we just want to put on a show. So. Um, that's the plan, you know, and we're just going to go out there and try to execute at our highest level. Spencer, you kind of mentioned uh, Josh and Xavier and, and Juice. I mean, I know those guys are all a little bit different skill sets, but how do those guys kind of complement each other? I guess what is it about those guys that maybe makes this offense work or what have, what have they done maybe that's helped you sort of get in a groove and, and in a rhythm as well? Yeah, they all have different, you know, skill sets. Obviously, Xavier is like a – uh, he, he's a bigger guy, so he'll go up and get it for sure. Um, real strong hands, you know, tall vert. He can get up there. Uh, fast guy. Josh is more of the shifty type, you know what I mean? Um, he can he can get open and uh, can make some plays after the catch. And then Juice, I feel like he's just all around. Like, um, he's fast. He can. He's strong. He's got good hands. And, uh, you know, they're all confident, all great players, all got different different qualities. But, they, I mean, we all blend pretty well, so... Um, like I said, chemistry is going to keep getting better and better, not just with those three, but everybody else on the field. So uh, I'm excited to see where we're, we're going to be. Spencer, Saturday night will be the first time uh, in a while that you'll run out onto the field inside of a football stadium, and it won't be Oklahoma fans mm -hmm. cheering for you. Yeah. What, what just, what's your expectation uh, of the spring game on Saturday night, just in terms of an atmosphere, and then also for yourself personally? Will it feel any different? What do you, what do you 
feel like maybe coming in just a couple of days ahead of that, what, what do you think that feeling for yourself internally might be? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm definitely excited. Um, it's going to be my first time on the like at a different like stadium, I guess you could say, like especially in the SEC environment. I'm um, excited to see what the what the fans are going to be like. Um, you know, I've heard nothing but great things. I hope hopefully it's packed out 50, 60,000 deep. Um, so come to the spring game, 7 p.m. Saturday night. Um, it's going to be a fun game. I'm excited to be out there. Like you said, I haven't been able to, you know, get on a, a field and play like just I mean, yes, I have, but I know what you're saying. I'm excited to get out there and play in front of the Gamecock fans. What is your uh, off season going to be like? You mentioned going back and working with your coaches and um, how much time will you spend here working with your guys here? And what are some of your other plans for maybe like traveling or whatever your plans are for the off season? Yeah, for the off season, I'm going to, I'm going to get away. Um, I'm going to get out of here like end of April um, just because I don't have any in-person classes uh, right now. So I can get out a little earlier and then I'll come back end of May, like May 30th uh, before, you know, our workouts start up June 1st. So, but I'll be working um, with my strength coach, uh, Rube Oliver down at Elite U in Arizona. And then obviously Mike Giovondo, my quarterback coach out there. So um, we'll have a lot of, we usually got a lot of college NFL guys working with us. So I'll be able to keep up to speed with the, Route, uh, routes, all that type of stuff, footwork. I'm just going to be working everything. So, yeah. And then obviously relax a little bit. I know you haven't been here that long, but you're pretty vocal on, on Twitter the last couple of weeks with the women's basketball team. Yep. When you see another team on campus just as a competitor, what does that do to you? What does that do from a motivational standpoint and just being wanting to, to be able to get to that level? Yeah, I mean, that's motivation for sure. Like how dominant they were all year watching them. Um, like they're the big dogs on campus. Like that's that's how I look at it. That's how we all kind of look at it. So we got to they set the tone for us to go out there and, and, and play at our highest level. So uh, I feel like that's inspiration, motivation for all of us. So um, congrats to the ladies. They, they had a great year. Uh, we're dominant the whole year and obviously in the national championship. So that just sets the tone for our football team. Spencer, you mentioned Mike. I know you guys have been working together for probably like 10 years now at this point. I guess just 12, what? Yeah. 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 I mean, just what, what's kind of he meant to your game and development? And I mean, obviously, you guys have known each other a long time. Like, what, what's kind of he meant to your progression in your game as well? Oh, yeah. I mean, we've been working, like you said, since I was 10 years old. Um, you know, I feel like we got ahead of the ball real early. You know, I was throwing with college guys when I was like 13, like 12. So um, being able to be around a lot of top guys and see how they work, see how they throw, and then just, you know, working on my own game and what we could tweak, what we can make better. So we never get complacent. Uh, he's always calling me every week, um, especially during the season. We'll hop on the phone every Friday, talk about the game plan, what we got, what the goals are for the game. So he's just like another like big brother, father figure in my life to, uh, you know, talk to me about football, talk to me about life and, you know, he's family. So, yeah. Spencer on defense, uh, I'm curious, are there any defensive backs over the course of, of spring spring drills where you've kind of found yourself as as the spring has gone along saying, ah, maybe I shouldn't test that guy. He's, he's kind of had my number lately. Yeah. Um, Cam Smith is the truth. Um, he's probably the best DB I've gone against, uh, like in practice um, in my college career so far. He's long. He's fast. He, he can get in the box and make tackles. Like he's all around. Like I kind of look at him like a – like a Derwin James slash Jalen Ramsey type guy. Like he's very, just really good, you know. And we try to, you know, really don't want to put up too many 50-50 balls with him, you know. Um, but all the guys, all the DBs are good. Uh, Cell, um, D. Rush, all of them, all of them are playing well. So they're getting us better on offense, not just me, but the receivers and everybody else. So, you know, I'm happy we get to go against those guys every day. All right. Thank you. You guys have a good one.